This is a, a new series, um, so Restoring First Love. So we're building on the foundation of unconditional love in this new series. I'm going to share the journey that led to the restoration of my first love relationship with the Father and the discovery of my own identity as a son of God that as was a result of that. Um, who are you? That's a question that God had been asking me for a long time. He asked me in various ways over a period of time. To begin with, my answers were always works based associated with what I was doing. Uh, and a lot of us sort of identify ourselves by what we do rather than who we are. Uh, my soul defined my identity, but God was seeking to reveal the true me. But my soul needed to accept that. And that wasn't an easy process by any means. And all of us go through a process and different ways that God begins to reveal a, who we really are, but B, what hinders us accepting that reality. Uh, and there may be many things in each of us that God has to deal with. Each of our souls has created an identity for ourselves using the data collected during our lives. The things that have happened to us, the information that we receive, the programming that we've received by culture, religion, family. All of us have had a programming of some sort information has been flowing through our senses from the outside that has created the need for our soul to survive to cope protect itself from the harsh realities of the life we often live um, the soul's defense mechanisms are in fact prisons that the soul uses to falsely keep us safe these prisons stop us knowing the true reality of who we really are and until the soul surrenders control and when we do that, that enables us to trust God for his protection, provision, direction, um, rather than having to do it for ourselves. And it's really hard when you've had to do it yourself to let go of control and allow God to be God. Mm -hmm. And trusting him is not a, a simple thing. It may sound simple. Well, I trust God. And I would have said implicitly that I trusted God until he challenged what that really meant and what trust really was in my relationship with him. So who am I? That's a question that's the core of most people's psyche. I want to, to picture a, a scene. Imagine you're in a boat, you're adrift on a vast ocean. You don't know where you are. You don't know that actually this is an ocean of unconditional love. You've got no sails and no oars. And this is the sort of hopeless position that mankind is seemingly in, not realizing that where they actually are and protecting themselves from where they actually are. And this state of despair is a deception. It's an illusion. It's a delusion that fools mankind into trying to navigate on the surface of the ocean of love by self-effort. Now, the answer is to get out of the boat and to sink into the depths of unconditional love to find out who we really are to find out who god really is you know we're never separated from god as we exist within him acts seventeen twenty eight says in him we live, live and move and exist everything in fact exists within god who's created a place within himself for relationship separation is therefore an illusion we've created because of our guilt and shame and that has kept us from intimacy with God and kept us in lost identity. So getting out of the safety of the boat seems counterintuitive to the natural mind because our natural mind has been conditioned by following the DIY tree independent path. So the question is, who are you? And how are you going to find out who you are? I would suggest you're never going to find out you won't know who you are if you stay in the boat. Now, I just want you to picture that you're in the boat on that vast ocean of unconditional love. This is a choice to surrender the control of your soul that you can get out of the boat abandon yourself sink into that vast ocean of unconditional love sink deeper and deeper into love 
to experience restored first love. The calling, the wooing, for you to go deeper 